Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Make It Happen Mondays where we talk about the practical ways to actually make your content happen. My name is Nick and I'm a full-time content creator based in Melbourne, Australia. And today we're talking about NVMe drives and enclosures. And this is something that I actually find really interesting and fun. And I know hard drives and SSDs and storage is probably a relatively boring topic for most people, but I've gotten into these quite a bit over the past few years. So for me, I literally edit all of my video content off external NVMe drives. They're actually normally installed inside computers like laptops, but with a good enclosure, you can get some really fast speeds that's perfect for video editing. So today I'm gonna to show you how to actually install NVMe drive into an external closure just like this one. All right, so here we are with our NVMe drive and then two NVMe enclosures. And I'm gonna quickly show you how to install it into both because there's quite a few different types out there. And hopefully this will cover roughly the main type of enclosures that you can get. This one is a little bit more involved and then this one is way more simple. So obviously this is my NVMe drive. It's a Samsung 990 Pro, which is overkill for an NVMe enclosure, but that's just what I have today. So the first thing you wanna do is just open your enclosure. And with this one in particular, there's just a bunch of small screws in the sides. So I'm just gonna unscrew them. And just like that, they've all been unscrewed. And now the top can just pop right off and I can access the actual enclosure. Now with this one, literally all you have to do to access the insides is to just pull it open, just like that. And that's the exact same thing. So now what you wanna do is actually put the NVMe drive into your enclosure. And in order to do that, you just have to find the end of the enclosure that has this little slot here. You can see the same slot in this drive just down here. So just locate that in your enclosure and then get your NVMe drive and just line it up with that little gap to where the little gap is on the port. So just like so. And then on a slight angle, just wiggle it in until it's tight. And then it will probably just sit up like this. That's perfectly normal. Don't be worried if it's doing that. It would be the exact same process in this drive. And then again, depending on the type of enclosure you've got, this one has a little screw just like this, which is what I'll use to hold it down. In this enclosure, it's just got a little plastic knob that you literally just twist out of the way, push down the drive and then twist it back so that it holds the drive down. But again, we're installing it on this one. So I'm just gonna get my screwdriver again and literally just slot the top in, push it down and then screw it in. Just like that, it doesn't have to be super tight just so it's held there nice and securely. And that is your NVMe drive installed. Now you'll likely have gotten a thermal pad with your enclosure and they look just like this. It's kind of like a floppy piece of blue tack almost. That's kind of how it feels. But all you have to do with this is just lay it gently on top of your NVMe drive. Just like that, just so it's covering the bulk of it. And what this thermal pad does is it helps conduct heat away from the NVMe drive into your cooling system. So on this particular drive, this is the cooling system. So it's got these copper rods here that go up and around to the top of the enclosure and there's a little fan that keeps the whole thing cool. So that can just literally sit there. And then all you do from here is reattach the top of the enclosure. And if you're using a drive like this, all you do is literally just slide it back in and clip it in. That one would be good to go. But this one, all we have to do is re-screw in all the screws. And there you have it. Your NVMe enclosure is now ready to use. You can literally just plug it in using your USB-C cable into your computer and you're good to go. It's literally that simple. So there you go. I hope that was helpful and you learned something new. If you're looking for more in-depth information about NVMe drives and the types of speeds you can get, then make sure you check out this video right here.